Significance of Worker Participation Management leadership and worker participation go hand in hand in terms of workplace safety and health. Top management sets the desired goals, allocates appropriate resources, and leads by example. On the other hand, worker participation is the driving force towards the achievement of desired safety and health goals. Worker participation in safety and health programs creates a sense of ownership among workers, enhances employee understanding of how the programs work, and sustains the program over time. Most importantly, worker participation results in a successful program, which improves health and safety outcomes for everyone. To encourage worker participation, employers might offer workers the opportunity to provide input in program development and setting goals, analyze hazards associated with each step of their job tasks and processes, Report existing hazards and suggest appropriate controls. Define and document safe work practices based on their personal experience. Inspect areas of their job site regularly for potential hazards. Participate in close call, near miss accident investigation. Develop, implement, and evaluate training programs. Evaluate existing programs and protocols. Perform a preliminary analysis of new equipment or procedures, and participate in exposure monitoring and medical surveillance activities. Management should continually encourage workers to report any and all safety and health concerns they observe during the course of their work. Management, then, has a responsibility to follow up on this information. To make this process efficient and effective, management must first establish a procedure for how workers can report this information. Management can then involve the workers themselves in finding a solution, if appropriate, or at the very least, report back to the worker about any action taken in response to their complaint or concern. All workers should be empowered, to contribute to the safety of their own workplace without fear of retaliation or reprisal. For employees to understand the potential hazards that may be present in their workplace, they must have access to all pertinent information. To this end, employers may share safety data sheets SDSs, job hazard analyzes, injury and illness data, chemical and equipment safety recommendations, workplace inspection reports, and incident investigation reports. OSHA regulations may also require that employers make specific types of information available to workers, such as results of environmental exposure monitoring. Check OSHA regulations for your industry in order to determine what type of information you are required to share by law.